is in. We saw what happened last night. Good thing is the uh, preseason is over. We can look forward to the regular season a week from Sunday. Uh, Dan Katz, Big Cat from uh, Barstool Sports. And so, uh, what did you think last night? The, the, the highlight to me had to be uh, Santonio Holmes, right? It, it absolutely was. That was the big question going into the game. Can he make the roster? Can he be a, a contributor to this roster? He came in, had a nice touchdown. He also had a punt return, and that's a big question. The special teams, who's going to return the kicks? Who's going to you know, be there in punt coverage? I think he can do both. Yeah, here he is right here. Former Super Bowl MVP. A lot of questions about this guy, some baggage uh, in terms he, of uh, his, his d demeanor and behavior over the years. There is baggage, but it, it, when, once you get a player like Santonio Holmes, you know, he's 30 years old. This is probably the end of the line. He's got some motivation. Right, exactly. <laughs> so he understands that, uh, you know, he has to do everything that he, he's asked to get make the team. He wasn't playing, you know, punt return for the Jets. He did earlier in his career, but now he's back to a point where he has to do everything that Coach Tressman, Tressman wants, and he's going to do that. And he's not being expected. He's not expected to be the number one guy. No, exactly. He yeah. should have some great opportunities, especially with the weapons around him. Johnny Manziel. We saw him uh, as the Snickers eating dance instructor uh, a little bit, and then we saw him run a little bit and throw poorly a little bit, didn't we? That's yeah. kind of Johnny Jam Boogie's uh, thing these days. You know, he's he's a dynamic player. People love to talk about him. Love to see where he's going on vacation and whatnot. <laughs> but uh, yeah, he 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 can't. He, his He's a little bit rough around the edges, especially for the NFL, you know, stage. So he didn't win the starting job. We'll see if he gets in there at some point this year. All right, let's cut to the big picture as we look ahead. Jake Cutler, of course, uh, needs to stay healthy for the Bears to have a chance this year. Is this finally the year he puts it all together, do you think? Well, that's a big thing. It's the if he stays healthy. And, and that's kind of what we're now expecting from all our athletes in Chicago. It's if Derrick Rose stays healthy, if Elena Del Don stays healthy. But... I think he will stay healthy. I think he'll be top three MVP. Wait, 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 wait. Did I just hear that right? Top three MVP vote getter. You can mark that down. Did you sleep last night? I Are didn't okay? sleep. I never okay. sleep. Okay. I actually had a pizza last night, so okay. I'm a little carb heavy, a little too much salt <laughs> okay. for the face. But I'm sticking with it. Top three MVP. I like your optimism. I'm not so sure I agree with you, but I like it. All right. But here's the thing, though. The defense. We saw these guys last week against Seattle, and they couldn't stop anybody. We know what they did last year. I know Seattle, a lot of people do that to people, to teams in the, in their building out there. But they've been proved on the line. But I, I see holes at linebacker. I see holes in the secondary. What do you think? That That's the big question is, is linebacker secondary. Because I think the defensive line is actually going to be a strength for this team. You have to remember, though, this team doesn't have to be a top 10 defense. Average is okay <laughs> with what Jay Cutler is going to do with what the offense is going to do. So we're hoping with the defensive line basically completely retooled, they will be average. Right. And a lot of times, as you know, you put that pressure on the other quarterback and the secondary looks better because of it. Exactly. Right? All right. Final final deal here. We're about to begin the real the real deal. I, I see a 10-win team. What do you see? I'll one-up you. I'll go 11 You're wins. going 11? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I have a lot of optimism for this does, team. Does 11 wins win the division? Yes. Yes. Dan Katz. Checking in. Aaron Rodgers will probably get hurt again. We have his number now. <laughs> right. Not really. I right, lay off the cards now. Okay. All right. Thanks. <laughs> Good to see you. <laughs> Big Cat. Talk to you soon, buddy. Back to you. Uh, oh, but he didn't leave his mustache on the pizza, which is the most important thing. Yeah, maybe just got a couple of crumbs on it, but That's he looks right. good today. He dusted it off. Yeah, and also 11 victories, and Dan Katz saying they're going to win that division, head into the playoffs. Mark your calendars, ladies and gentlemen. We'll pull that one up.